Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And this video is to show you the point and explain everything you need to know about Raptor Claws because it's something that gets added every single year for the Christmas event. And it's probably one of the most broken events. And by that, I mean useful for players of the entire year simply due to the fact that you get some crazy loot. You can get chibis and it's just fun in general. So I'm gonna show you how to use the Raptor Claws. Now, if you don't know what Raptor Claws is, basically a special music gets played across the server. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now what that means. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below and then consider subbing to the channel. So now that it is almost midnight, at midnight every arc game day. So if you go into your thing and you can see that it's at 23 at 2400, that's going to be the time in which Santa Claus comes across the map, or I guess Raptor Claus. And he essentially plays a terrible Raptor tune. It goes, rah, 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 and then music starts playing. Now, when he goes across the map, he's going to go across the map in a perfectly straight line. And then every give or take, we're going to call it 50 foundations or so, he drops a present. Now that present, uh, and there it is. You can hear him. It's awful. Raptor Claus has arrived. And uh, you can typically find them if you go to the center of the map, right? Unfortunately, you can't find them just by looking on your map. I wish they had made that update. But if you look up, you'll usually be able to see him glowing in the sky. Now, sometimes it takes a second to actually locate the Raptor Claws, but it's usually pretty pr uh, prominent. See how I can like look over there and see a dark dot in the middle of my screen? It's the only thing. So directly above the actual top of the map, so in this case, you can see all the clouds and there's that like dark thing in the long distance. If you were to go and find it, basically you're gonna see this Raptor Claws flying across the map. And you can see that he's just gonna continue to hang out. And uh, basically he is gonna just be pulled by his three lovely Megaloceros reindeer. And uh, he's gonna drop presents. Now those presents are gonna be super fancy. And what you can do is find out because he's gonna go across the map at a perfect line. So what I like to do is I'll get behind Raptor Claws like this and then I'll look to where he's going. So you can see on my map right now, if I was to pull my map up, he is basically gonna go across in this line. So from this point, and if you wanna kinda of trace it out, he's basically gonna end right here. So you can create a waypoint if you really want to, and uh, just slap one down right at that point, but it's up to you. If you double click on it, it'll let you kinda of like go to that area. But you're gonna see, see how he's dropping presents out of him? Boom, that's the first one that looks like he's gonna drop right there. And then he'll continue to drop these as he flies across the map. And you basically, as you move closer and closer to him, you'll see that you render these things in. Now, these things do take a little bit of time to hit the ground. It's basically the exact same travel time as a generic drop as it would go to the ground. But there's insane loot inside of these things. So just to tell you what you can get, you can get blueprints, you can get saddles, you can get cryopods, you can get pretty much anything. Every single one, however, the only difference is going to guarantee that you're gonna get inside of it some form of chibi. So you can see that you can get a lot of different chibis, including special custom chibis for this specific mod. Um, and that is how you actually get the, uh, the stuff for it. Now, notice how he's gonna continue in that exact straight line, right? So if you were to let this thing hit the ground and then take off on one of your fastest tames, something like a, let's say that you wanted to use um, a, a Pteranodon or something along those lines, you would be able to access the ability to just get all of these. Now, it is very contested in PvP servers, so be aware of that. It's not always just a first come first serve. It's typically fought upon because the loot inside of these things can have anything from crazy flak all the way to, uh, I don't know, something useless like fiber. So it's a random loot drop, but I, I can tell you that inside of some of the ones that I've pulled today, I've got a 275, a really affordable 400 and almost 50 durability um, black gauntlet BP. And that's it's it's a crazy way to get a ton of really good blueprints um, using these drops. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wait till this hits the ground. I'm not going to do all of these, but then now that you understand the gist of Raptor Claws, um, that is how you use the said Raptor Claws in order to get some crazy, crazy loot. Now, once it hits the ground, typically speaking, it's going to let you open it just before it hits the ground, and you'll see the open inventory open up as soon as we get close to the ground. Um, it should be right about now. We should see it. There it is. Okay. So see how we get the, the chibi of the otter, we get a blueprint, and then we get the coal, and we also get the, uh, let's see, there we go. So now if I was to look that way, right, you can see that there's a direct line for all of the presents that drop. 
If you get the first one, you can typically get the second, third, fourth, fifth, and just go in a straight line in order to claim it. Now, you can land on top of these like you saw, so some people will quite literally land on top of it and just look down and mash F or E in order to access the crate. And you can get some pretty crazy stuff. So you can see this one's got a blueprint for flak gauntlets. That seems to be very popular this year. Don't know why. Ooh, it doesn't have a chibi inside of it. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, but you get some pretty good loot out of him and uh, you just follow this guy and he will give you like you can see that there's one two three four five six and he's not even on the edge of the map yet so you can get i think seven eight nine uh christmas drops usually per um santa claus or raptor claws that goes across the map and that is all you have to do in order to get the raptor claws gifts so do not feel for another one wow that's crazy no blueprints in this one but you got a really good mastercraft pike some metal sickles and just some overall good stuff it, but really, it's one of the best ways to farm really good BPs. Um, you saw that, what have I got here? So these are the BPs that I've gotten so far. A sword, a really good pistol, um, some black gauntlets. That is crazy. That's good armor for low level. Um, and notice how cheap they are too. I don't know why they're so cheap, but they are. Um, yeah, pretty good blueprints. And uh, you go, there's another, oh, I got a Raptor Claws. That's cool. I didn't, that was supposed to be a rare one this time around. Um, so that's pretty awesome and uh, yeah you can just farm these and it's definitely a popular thing to do because it's more valuable than drops for a hundred percent on that one but uh yeah that's kind of everything you need to know and definitely check these out so hopefully this video helps you out but other than that teach